everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and today we're a wet and miserable Sunday but we're at Tom Shaw's Farm Machinery to have a look at what there is to be seen. I actually seen the post on Facebook and I thought there was some cool things to look at so I said I'd come down with the camera show everyone. But um, yeah, it's a bit miserable and the umbrella's already broken as you can tell. Yeah, but anyways, we'll see what there is to be seen. So they have a full range of big M mowers, everything from a 2000 up to a 2021, so 21 years of big M. This one is looking a bit on the rough side, give it that. Is it a Mark 1 or a Mark 2? Mark 1. I'd say it still gets the job done all the same. Then you have a 2008 Mark 2. This is a 2015. It's double Dutch to me, I think it's to do with engine horsepower. Big M420. Big difference between the size of the brand new one versus the, the Mark 1. Big size difference. That one has groupers on it. It has the it's like an auger in it. Yeah, it's an auger in it and it squirrels it into the middle. Well, of course. What would you call it? Merges. Mer merges it. Okay, merges it. The front links of any tractor, so it is. The level of size, that is just gigantic, isn't it? And just the size comparison between this and, and the, the Mark 1 is mental. The way the back axle is suspended. Yeah, so it's there and then that ram there. Two stays and then the ram. Just the sheer, like look at the shape of the bonnet and everything, like it goes in and it goes back out. It's pretty mental. Yeah, it's a heck of a big yoke that. So, this is one of the really cool things that I've seen on the, the pictures on Facebook, is to have two harvesters here taken apart. So you can actually like get in and have a look. So you have your, your pickup, the intake, and it goes into your feed rollers, which is a terror to think 30 foot of grass comes in and then gets squished in between them. Or even if you're rolling with the 50 foot of grass, if you're rolling with the larger rig. Really. Goes through six feed rollers and then into the drum where it gets chopped up. And that's the drum. And one of the things, if I remember rightly from when we were at the Crone Day, was the Crone Harvester has a, what is it, the, the belly of the harvester has a, a spring in it. So if a lump comes in, instead of a jamming or, or choking the harvester, the concave, the belly of the, the drum will go down to let the lump go through it. And it goes into the chute, up into the blower paddles, which is in there, and then out the chute. But it's a terror thing, just how small that area really is and just how much volume of stuff goes through it. Mad how they don't always be blocking on us. And up there, heading up for the street. The chest valve for all the hydraulics. It's then the bigger harvester. You can see it in the pick up there into the feed rollers right through it's a wider intake wider intake take in more grass everything else will be much the same it's just the, the width of the spout going out into a much bigger entity the big, it must have taken off the yeah mug guards are taken off it you can see right into it 
actually see in and see look how big the sump is it was pretty cool to actually see in see the how the axle is suspended that's a sheer bucket is it it is a sheer bucket big difference between that and what we have it's a much deeper it's one ah uh, yeah i'd say so in the umbrella. You're in the umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> Getting caught. Full range of crone equipment. Four row rake. You think Eric could manage one? Oh, mind it in four rowers. I drove one though. Get rid of some amount of money with that and fertilizer. <laughs> yeah, that's a that hole a lot of fertilizer. High spec diet feeder. It would fit in the sheds, would it not? Double tub diet feeder. Huh? It's interesting to see the conveyor on the side of it swings round and swings in so it's not in the way. Oh yeah, you can add out the back too. 3075 handle it live. It's an interesting slurry pump. No. Never. No. Stay with hydraulic. Safer. It's easier to run to because you don't have to rev the tractor out to achieve the RPM speed. Handy set of butterflies. If there's nothing in it. Yeah, well, I suppose that keeps weight down, doesn't it? No, no conditioner. I need conditioners. Ah. Oh. You know it's good when you see how far it throws it out there, so Yeah. Darth, if you want to introduce yourself for James, he knew from McHale. Um here Tom Shaw's open day today and um, yesterday. Uh, just, just on the Fusion 4 we have the main features that's changed on it. Up in the cab we have the Isobus control monitor that comes standard now on the Fusion 4. Oh, so it'll plug into an Isobus ready tractor? You can plug into the Isobus ready tractor and it comes with its own monitor as well. Oh, it's a 7 inch okay. monitor. But you can also get the 12 inch monitor. Yeah. It's a bigger screening which is then also an extra option. But um, going from the machine you have the heavy drive PTO on the machine. It's a 1000 RPM gearbox. Was comes on this machine now with the 540 is standard but the thousand is the most popular yeah you have the single crop roller with the spring time now also on the front of the machine here the pickup on this machine is a camless pickup yeah you can also get the cam track pickup as well with the camless it's a six time pickup and it's also an extra time on this year's model now as well the main difference on the fusion 4 then from the fusion 3 would be the actual rotor itself is out further right pick up and the augers, the two lateral augers on the side, they're also out close to the pickup now as well. So it's less likely to get find the dead spot. Well, what you have there is for the shorter grass, the canvas is a real advantage on that. And yeah. also, there's more and more guys now putting 30 foot rows of grass in front yeah. of them. So with the augers out closer, she can sweep the lump away a quicker. And also, if you look here, actually on the, between the rotor and the mouth of the actual chopper, with that section off the trap, you would taper it off now at right. an angle. Yeah. So if you're in big 30 foot rolls of grass, it'll it, kind of push it. It gets the, the roll wheel up. Yeah. Like, you know, and feed into the chopper unit. So again, you have 25 knives in the chopper. They're also selectable. So you can put up 12 or 13 knives if you want. And there's also an extra feature there now as well on the knives. That if your bale is 90% full, she'll automatically put down the knives at so, the bale. Yes. Now that's an option for your, for the operator, you can yeah. turn that on or off in the cab. And it's all done by the cab, even it's selecting how many knives you want up in that. 12 or 13, so if you have 12 knives up and those knives got blunt, yeah. you can drop those down. 
and you can walk the other ones. Like, you know, or you can walk the full 25. Yeah. And also, there's another feature there then as well after 50 bales. She'll get the knives up and down on her mat, clean the slots. Yes. If you're doing hay or doing a lot of silage during the day. Again, your density is set from the cab, your net is set from the cab. You can set your tension for your plastic and your net as well from right. the cab as well. It's all done in oh, cab. So all is done by cab yeah. now. The extra feature there now as well is on the actual net knife. Instead of getting out to pull up the knife if you were serviced the machine or whatever, you yeah. can actually do that now in the cab as well. It's called the hydraulic net knife reset. Yeah. You've all the heavy duty chains, split drive gearbox, so your 1000 RPM box is driving your chamber from the left side and it's driving your rotor and your pickup from the right hand side yeah. and again you have a bigger sprocket on the side there for your bigger rotor and your better intake on the chopper. All 20B chains on your, on your drive side here, the double sprockets, rollers in there, 55mm on the double sprocket and 50 million on the, on the standard yeah. sprockets. Automatic, you have two independent pumps here, now one for your, your greaser and one for um, your oiler. So you have a bigger reservoir for your oiler now as well. Yes. That can also be adjusted from in the cab as well. If you're in drier conditions. Or to put out more. You might want to put on more oil yeah. if you're in drier conditions or if you're in, you can set it up and down from one to one to eight. Yeah. Your film roll holders here at the side. They're just more operator friendly now that they'll go back and lock in themselves automatically. You have the 650 wheel in as well, which is the wider tire. You have your keypad here on the side for working your Extra your wrapping ring, your back tip up and down, and you can work your your lights on the outside in as well. Like, you know, because with the new style panel, we have new internal lights here now as well on this panel on the left hand side, yeah. and also on the right, and extra lights here on this panel for loading your plastic as well. Like, you know, so that's all controlled from the outside as well. On your new style panel, you have these stainless steel hands here as well for opening and closing your panels. You have this new style LED light at the back of the machine then as well, and your actual panel is curved off a nice streamlined. Um, angle there as well. You have these rear panel guards in as well to protect your panels or if a bait happened to roll on the side of a hill this rear panel guard will protect us from your panels as well. Your double bobbins in as well in your wrapping ring is actually spinning faster now as well so once the bale ejects from the chamber yeah. hits the wrapping rollers your wrapping ring starts up straight away and your wrapping ring is actually spinning faster then as well. So you're not waiting for the door to close so down to set up your wrapping. You're, you're, you're wrapping quicker. As you're, as more and more guys are on the 20 foot and 30 foot rows of yeah. grass, the wrapping ring is spinning faster. Yeah, so you're, you're, you're not waiting for the bale to be wrapped, exactly, you're exactly. have it cleared quicker. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So um, again, you have to see the new style panel here. It's just slightly different than the Fusion 3. There's more of um, streamline on the side here. You have the, um, your pickup wheels, they just pull the pin here and the spin around up there. It's very, there's all lifting off. Uh, same same, that, same, like same as the yeah. there, are, yeah. Also, then you have your inner F loading device here, then as well. So it's very simply done. Oh, so load up the net for loading your net or loading your plastic. You just bring it straight down. Oh. Put your roll of plastic on here or your net. Yeah. Bring it up horizontal with the the feed channel. Yeah. Push your roll across and you feed her in there. Oh, and, and she's on um, rollers, then so you can just roll it. Yeah. It goes up in for your your storage position. You can also on that thing as well. You can keep your roll of plastic out in the front here. And what you have also, you have your net feed box kit, which is uh, in behind the roll of plastic. So you have two options there. You can store your roll of net here and yeah. feed it from here. And you can leave your roll of plastic here, so you're not moving one from the other. So there's two options there to keep your net here and keep your plastic So it here. comes plastic and net ready, ready yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what it is. So you're not moving the roll of net out from one. Yeah. Each you one has its own uh, compartment there for feeding the net on the plastic. And again with your knives in as well, you have your sensors here for your drop floor. You have two sensors there for your 12 knives or your 13 knives, so they'll tell you in the cab. If one set of knives go slightly back from the spine of the rotor, she'll automatically tell you in the cab. Yeah. In that case, it might have give your knives a sharp after roughly five, you know, 1,500 days, like, you know, depending on the crop you be in. Yeah. Of course, um, load sensor valve in as well comes standard. As I said to you later on, your density, which was used to be outside here, that's all in the cab now. Yeah. And your net adjustment and your plastic adjustment for the amount of layers that goes on is all in cab now as well. That's basically it with the Fusion Forts updates. And again, look at Tom Shaw here, talk to any of the lenses. Yeah. Will to change or whatever, like, you know. Thanks, thanks very much. For no that. bother, Phil. Thanks a lot. Sammy.
always like the badge on them. <laughs> Two tractors on my list that I'd love to get to drive to give a bit of a good old test and out. And one of them is the Dykes. The other one is a lot, the new type Landini. But I drove the Dykes that time with the pot and they open there and um, kind of really liked it and liked sitting in it but just didn't get enough driving at all. Was, yeah, Dykes is one tractor I wouldn't mind getting a, a good run at. So that is Tom Shaw's machinery open there. So we just said we called down for a look. I said I'd bring the camera because I thought it was quite cool with the, all the big MC and how they've transformed from Mark 1, which looks like a bit of a nifty machine, up to the big M450, which is just an absolute monster. I just, can only imagine how uh, how difficult it'd be getting in and out of some places. Um, and interested to see the crone where it was all taken apart and insides and just chatting to everyone and very interesting to see the Mikhail, the Fusion 4. And what's the difference between that and a fusion tree? But anyways, we're going to try and get out of the car park because we're in a two wheel drive car and it is very, very. <laughs> well, I go backwards and then back out that way or just keep know going. Which way's back. This um, way and stay to the right. Right, but anyways, we're trying to get out of here, hopefully. But anyways, hope you enjoyed today's video. That is it for me. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. That is it from us. Good luck. <laughs>